All right, everybody. So we're working on this one six short nose crank Miata. We're getting ready to finish up this timing belt. I wanted to show you something. When we went down to the crank bolt here to break it, notice how much of an effort is required to break this. That's it. Just a little flick of the wrist and that was enough for this bolt to start loosening up. Let's go ahead and finish pulling it here. You'll take a close look at it. There it is. Starting to back out with just a little tiny, tiny bit of wrench play. So definitely be aware of that next time you do your timing belt. Um, a lot of these short noses, that was the detrimental problem with them. They didn't put Loctite or they weren't tightened to spec. Fortunately, this one came in early enough to where the bolt isn't uh, backed out or doesn't seem like it's seized. So we'll see what we find in a few minutes. All right, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull out this crank bolt. And you'll see that it's super rusted as it came out. And you'll see a lot of rusty rustiness coming out of the air. So this has been loose for a while. And the fact that this is moving as it is loosely is definitely not a good sign so let's see what we get once this sprocket comes loose all right guys so we're going to show you what we found here when this sprocket came loose you can see how this has been kind of been wearing away a little bit it's kind of hard to see there but this should be smaller the woodruff key that slides in is just a smidge smaller than that we caught it fairly early so we're going to be able to kind of fill that in with some jb weld and get it to stay in place if you look at the sprocket here You'll take a close look at the Woodruff key. You'll see that the Woodruff key has gone sideways inside of it. It has a lot of play there. Um, and it's gotten a little kind of cocked in there because it's been spinning like this and slowly eating away part of that crank snout. So we're going to definitely do our best to try and uh, save this bad boy. We're going to replace that seal, tighten up everything really well. And we'll see if we can get some more life out of this motor.